So today I want to talk about one of the biggest challenges that we have in today's housing market. And surprisingly, it isn't just the rate increases, although it does have to do with the rate. So stay tuned, we're getting started right now. Hey, welcome back y'all, I'm Debbie Dobbins. I'm your host for this episode of Your Wichita Falls. And if you um, spend any time on this channel, you know that I talk about Wichita Falls, I gush about Wichita Falls, and I talk about all the things in our community, including what's going on with real estate, housing, investments, and everything in between. So today, I want to talk about the biggest challenge that the housing market is facing right now. And some of you will say automatically, well, it's the high interest rate. Well, it makes it a little bit more challenging with those interest rates for people that actually own homes right now. So there are fewer homes for sale, surprisingly, and um, a gentleman by the name of Mark Fleming, he's the chief economist at First American, and he explains that the root cause of today's low supply. So keep in mind though, we just came out of a low supply, a low supply experience for the last two years. And what did that do? It causes prices to raise. So when you have a low supply and a high demand, you're going to have some challenges. He explains that there are two dynamics that are keeping the existing home inventory, and we're not talking about new homes, the existing home inventory low again. And it's called rate locked. One thing that always comes up for me when I hear rate locked is kind of landlocked. And you think of it like that, when you're landlocked, you don't have access to the beautiful lakes and oceans and things like that. But here's the thing is that when you're rate locked, an existing homeowner feels that the fear of not finding something to buy is more fearful or a reason to not sell than anything else. And I can attest to that right now. Most every house that I'm listing right now has owners that want to move for various reasons, are needing to buy homes to replace the home that they have, and they're afraid, number one, that they won't find something to buy. It's not like the market that we had so many offers on so many houses because what they end up having to do is what's called a contingency offer. Well, here's the thing. So if you do a contingency offer, either the seller of the property that you're putting an offer in is probably in the same boat as you are and having a conversation with themselves, do I want to do that? And at the same time, they have to put their house on the market. And if they get a buyer for their house sooner than when they find a home, ooh, that's not a good fun place to be. Let me break it down, these two big issues in today's housing market. The reason that uh, homeowners feel rate locked is because according to the Federal Housing Financing Agency, FHFA, which, you know, we have so many agencies in the government, it cracks me up. The average interest rate for current homeowners with mortgages is less than 4%. So you can see in this graph that that's what is actually happening. Now, I will tell you that some people have even lower interest rates than 4%. That's an average. I personally refinanced my house early on and the interest rates were 2%. So for me and a whole lot of other people, if your interest rate is two or three or four and you're gonna move someplace and now you're gonna move up or you're gonna make a lateral move, your payment's going to be higher because today the typical mortgage rate offered to buyers is over 6%. I mean, I just locked somebody in at 5.875, it was VA. So VA and FHA are lower interest rates, but they also have mortgage insurance. So that's a different conversation. We'll do a different video on that. But if you're going up 2%, let's say your interest is four, you're going up 2%. I've shared this on a number of videos that every 2% on $100,000 is an extra $100 a month. So generally you're looking at 200, 300,000 for your new loan amount. And if you had a lower loan amount at 4%, your payment could potentially go up two to $400 a month just from the interest alone. And that doesn't include taxes and insurance if you're going, if you're moving in a upward trajectory. So it is challenging. I will tell you it's challenging, but there are some really good things that you can do. 
But if your interest rate is 4% and you're looking at homes in 6%, many homeowners are opting to stay put. I mean, that's just the reality of it. If they're opting to stay put instead of moving to another home with this higher borrowing cost, what does that do to the market? It reduces the inventory again. And we've just come out of this experience with low inventory. And what that does is it creates scarcity so that people that are looking to buy cannot necessarily find what they want in a very quick and efficient manner. So this is a situation known as being rate locked. If you hear that term bantered around in the press or whatever, that's exactly what they're talking about. You're stuck in an interest rate. You don't know where you can move. You don't know if you're gonna be able to find a house if you put your house on the market or in the alternative, if you make a contingency offer and then you have to sell your house. It's just a little bit wonkiness that we didn't have before, but now we do. So when so many homeowners are rate locked and they're reluctant to sell, it's a challenge for the housing market. And we just came out of a very challenging time. So what do we need again is more challenge, but there's more inventory if people begin to look at this from a different perspective. And the experts, all of the experts out there project that mortgage rates are gradually going to fall this year. That's been predicted for quite some time. I will tell you, I don't want to get into a editorial here, but the Fed cannot stand that the economy is thriving. <laughs> They call it inflation and I just don't personally understand. They want the um, unemployment rate to be higher. They want more people to be out of work. They don't want people to spend money. Oh my goodness. It's interesting. So let me just say that. But the truth of the matter is, is we have to work within the system, but the mortgage rates will gradually fall this year. And there's some things that you can do about two, one buy downs and things like that, that can help you mitigate what's happening here and find that house that you really want. And that could mean that if the interest rates come down eventually, which they will, more people are going to be willing to move. And the thing about it is, is why are we waiting? Why are we putting our lives on hold? I always believe that whatever you want is available to you now. So how can we decide that we're not going to buy into the overall scheme of what appears to be happening? That fear of not finding something to buy is something you can change your mind about and begin to look at creating that experience for yourself. So I'm going to do some seminars in just uh, a week or so to talk about how you create those experiences for yourself. Because at the end of the day, there's always going to be that perfect home for you, ready and waiting at the exact right time. There's another thing that's with sellers is that they're just standing on the sidelines a lot of times. And then that does reduce the inventory on the market. If you're on the fence about selling your house, it's really important to consider all of your options. So let's talk about those options. That includes newly built homes. You know, that's a really viable option. There's not a ton of new builds in our community, but they are here. And these new builds are obviously more expensive because the price per square foot is going to be more, but then the builders can offer concessions like mortgage rate buy-downs. Well, guess what? You don't have to go to a builder to get a mortgage rate buy-down. You can do a temporary, a one, two, or three buy-down rate. And so I'm going to talk about that in a video as I'm going to record right after this. Because what happens is you start your interest rate one, two, or three percent lower than what everybody else is paying. So if the going rate is six, you start at four. Oh, wow, that's awesome because you can wait out this interest rate bubble that we're in. Well, so what does that mean for you? These two issues are keeping the supply of homes for sale lower than, get this, pre-pandemic levels. Ah, that's crazy. But if you wanna sell your house, today's market is a sweet spot. Because if you're a seller, you're likely to be able to sell your house quickly. And that's where the fear of missing out of not being able to find a home. So one of the things you want to do is find somebody like me that can help you navigate those waters. You want to make sure that somebody's got your back. And that's what I tell my buyers and my sellers. I've got your back. 
because I'm not going to let my sellers be homeless, that's for sure, but I'm also letting them know that we can work with buyers to create an experience that works for everybody. So when you're thinking about selling your house or buying a new house, really understand that you want to have somebody that works with you, that understands all of your needs and desires, whether it be the way you want to sell your house, when you want to sell your house, or what you want to buy. Because leveraging your current home equity is really amazing right now. That's another thing that sellers have in spades. And according to so many reports, 48% of mortgaged homes in America, this is crazy, they have amazing equity in their properties. It has gone up. I've done video after video about the amount of equity that's in your home. So you know that you can come to the table with more money than you ever thought possible for the new home. And it also helps you buy down that rate even further. So when you combine this amount of equity in these houses, which is the difference between how much you owe in the house and how much the house is worth, because the houses have gone up in value so much, you know, 50% of this market value is really usable for so many people to buy another house. And that could make a major difference when you move. So think about all of the potential and all of the possibilities. And if you're sitting on the sidelines, just give me a call. There's a Zoom link in the first comment section below that you can talk this out with me because I would love to give you some insight as to what your possibilities are rather than just thinking, this is one way and that's the only other way. You put your capital to work, your equity, the cost of your next home goes down, absolutely so many things are available to you and all of that potential and possibility is yours for the asking. There's two more videos coming up and if you like this channel, you like this video, please subscribe. You'll ring that bell and be notified every time we load up a new video because we do that at least once a week, sometimes twice. So if you are a rate locked homeowner and you're afraid of not finding what you think you can, just know that these times are made for you. Think outside of the box, create an experience for yourself. And as I always say, y'all come back now. You hear?